Hello everybody, this is Terry Nance. I want to welcome you to Armor Bear Awakening. And I just pray today that God's very best is your something good is going to happen in your life. And I thank the Lord. These are exciting days. These are end time days and you have a call on your life. And so I just thank you for letting me into your life to speak in and to stir that up. And I want to pray with you right now over your leadership. I want, I want to pray and just release the power of God for you and your pastors and leaders. Father, I pray right now, I release the anointing of God over them. And I thank you, Father. I pray for everyone watching. Let the blessing of heaven manifest. I break every spirit, every uh, uh, assignment against them in the name of Jesus. And I thank you for healing flowing right now. Uh, just releasing it. Someone with, I mean, pressure on your chest, that's anxiety, that stress is gone in the name of Jesus. And any uh, unforgiveness you're carrying, forgive right now. That thing is broken in Jesus' name. And we pray for your pastors and leaders, for the Spirit of God just to bless them today. Now, if you're subscribing, please do so. If not, send, I mean, send the, if, once you subscribe, send it to everyone you know. Get it to your pastor and leaders. Use these as small group sessions, however the Lord leads you. But I'm teaching out of God's Armor Bearer 3, running with your pastor's vision. And I want to deal with today, we must bring our vision under the vision of the house. I taught on the Shunammite woman, I think it's several months ago, but I'm going to go back over this because I want to read the scripture. It's found in 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 9 through 10. And the Shunammite woman said to her husband, look, I know that this is a holy man that is passing by us regularly. Hey, let's make a small upper room on the wall. In other words, she said, we're going to put an upper room over us and uh, we're going to put a bed for him there. Let's put a table, put a chair and a lampstand. So that whenever he comes in, he can rest and relax. So they begin to do that. And they got it all ready. Now, here's what I want you to see that is so important. The very first thing that's so important about this story is the Shunammite woman perceived that Elisha was a man of God. And this is my question. Who are the men and women of God in your life? Who are those men and women? Who are the ones that have spoken into your life? Do you have eyes to see? Uh, can you perceive? You know, uh, we live our life sometimes and we miss the people who are speaking into our lives. And we've got to have the ability to see. And in that, what she did, she gave honor. You got to be able to see. The second thing the woman did is that she started the construction by removing a wall. You know, if we're going to see the men and women of God, then we got to get rid of the walls in our life. We got to pull them down and get rid of them. Uh, these walls, walls of hurt, walls of rejection, uh, things that we have gone through, we have got to be free from that stuff. You're going to have to ask forgiveness. Pastor Terry, you don't know the abuse. That has happened in my life. Spiritual abuse. Look, I, I know there's spiritual abuse. I know men are human and women. And I know they're going to stand before God for that. If they're called of God and they're standing in that office and they abuse that office, they use it to manipulate, to control, dominate you, cheat you. Uh, they're going to stand before God for that. But the thing you have to do is you've got to forgive. You have to. And you've got to trust God set, uh, the fivefold ministry in the, in, in the earth. They are to be honored. They are to be respected. Uh, we are to listen to them and to receive from them, but we've got to perceive it. And I want to say this for everyone that uses their office to abuse. There's another 10 to 20 doing it right. So we, we've got to understand that and we give ourselves, uh, to that local church. You know, there's only two kind of, uh, lead, two types of leadership, positional or relational. And I know in my heart, and I know Jesus, people think, well, he was strictly positional. <laughs> no, he wasn't. My gosh, he was relational. He pulled those men and women to him. He poured his life into him. He lit, 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 literally slept in their homes, was with their families. I mean, he gave himself into them in order that he might leave the church ready to go and flow through them. So 
the Shunammite woman perceived. Open your eyes. Uh, the next thing the Shunammite woman did, she removed the walls. She got the walls of hurt. Then she built an upper chamber over her house. Now, here's the difference between respect and honor. Respect is an attitude, but honor is an action. When I, when I respect someone, I can respect them, but I don't honor them. I mean, I can respect for what they do, uh, or the words that they say or whatever, or their life. But for me to honor is to do something. So this woman got rid of a wall and they built an upper apartment over her life. And I want to say this to you. I want you to sow into your leadership. I want you to bless them. Uh, I don't care. Buy them a cup of coffee. Uh, take them to dinner. Bless them. Take them to lunch. Do, do something. Send them a gift card. You don't, you know, you don't have to take them to lunch. Send them, send them a gift card. Bless them for lunch. You may think, ah, man, that's just 25 bucks, you know, $30. Well, hey, that is a way of you sowing seed into their lives. My wife and I, man, for years and years and years, we sowed into our pastor personally. This was us personally. We, we bless the men and women of God in our life. And the Spirit of God is saying this to you. The Bible is very clear. And I'll get into this later on when I talk about honor. But we are to honor the elders that rule well. Uh, the Bible is very, very clear on that. And said, you're not to muzzle the ox, treads out the corn. That means bless them. Give them double honor. They are worthy of double honor. How would you honor someone that you love coming into your house. Well, you'd spread out the table. You'd do your very best. You'd have everything ready. You you would bless them, double it. That is exactly what God says. So look, you can do something. I don't care what it is. Tell them, send them a card. Tell them you love them. Bless them. And when you do that, I'm telling you, it just you'll start receiving whatever you honor, you pull to you. What you dishonor will flee from you. Father, I put the blood of Jesus over everyone. You you have a wonderful day today. In Jesus' name.